Ye have died and your life is hid with the Christ in God. Colossians 3.3 3. The Christian's wonderful position. Man did not want the holiness of God, neither would he have the love of God. So God brought in a new thing, a spring of life, and put away sin through the cross of his Son. And the Lord Jesus, having died for sin, took his seat at the right hand of the Father, victorious over all, and sent down the promised Spirit to enable us to walk before him. What a position I have, done with sin, no more conscience of it. The Lord Jesus has taken my sins clean off. He could not bring us into the Father's presence with one sin upon us. No, though they were as scarlet, they shall be white as wool. The Lord Jesus became obedient unto death, and this settled the whole thing, and gives power to the poor sinner. With that holy freedom, I can go into God's presence when I know the Lord Jesus is there, seated at my Father's right hand, as not only my forerunner, but my very life. I have a perfect righteousness, a perfect love, and a perfect conscience to appear in. You could not go into God's presence with one sin upon you. It would be folly to even think of it, madness to attempt it. One unpardoned sin would utterly unfit you for his presence. The blood of Christ is cleansed from all sin, so that the soul in the presence of God can enjoy him. We joy in God. The glorified Lord Jesus, seated in heaven, sends down the Comforter to give us power for fellowship with himself. See the place he has taken, one with the redeemed on earth, Never until after the resurrection does he call his disciples brethren, nor does he say, Peace be with you, before then. We have his righteousness, we have the earnest, we wait for the inheritance, we have the love of God shed abroad in our hearts, and when we view the holiness, the power, the love of God, how delightful is the thought, he is my Father, the love wherewith he has loved his own Son, he has bestowed upon me. J. N. Darby